welcome to you all in my youtube channel express mathematics in today's video i am going to explain you about the derivation of area of arrowhead and area of the kite okay before starting i want you to make sure that you please subscribe my channel pressing the subscribe button just below my video and also press bell icon so that you will be informed about my coming videos so let's find out area of arrowhead here a b c uh, d it is the arrowhead a b d c is the arrowhead and uh, here a b and a c these two sides are equal in arrowhead and this the line a d is the line of symmetry of this arrowhead and this in this your uh, one uh, diagonal ad we can suppose this as d1 and we can suppose the line length of the line joining this b and c as this length to be D2. Okay, so the length of the line joining BC is D2. And we have to find out the, we have to derive the formula for the area of this arrow. Let us show in this B with C. This length is D2. Okay, from A, let us draw. This point is M, a little bit messy it became. Okay, I will draw another diagram also, it may be confusing. This is diagonal D1, uh, A, B, C. This point is D and from A uh, here AM perpendicular to it is drawn here and this length is D2. Okay, you can suppose this as another diagonal. This AD one diagonal and this is another diagonal. Let A B C D B N arrow where AD equals to D1 and BC equals to D2. From A, let us draw AM perpendicular to BC. Okay. And uh, here, A B equals to A C. So triangle A B C is an isosceles triangle. Okay. This is isosceles triangle. So in isosceles triangle, the perpendicular drawn from a vertex divides the base. Okay. So this the perpendicular. M drawn from vertex divides the base. Now the perpendicular polar M divides the base BC. Okay. Uh, and then the area of area of uh, arrow a b d c uh, will be equals to area of triangle a b c minus 
area of triangle ABC minus BDC. Okay, so from this whole triangle, if you subtract the area of triangle BDC, then we will get the area of arrow ABDC. Okay, so area of this whole triangle ABC will be half times base times height. Okay. Uh, okay, here uh, we have written that let us draw AM is uh, perpendicular to BC. Actually, uh, what happens is that this AD is the line of symmetry and this uh, line of uh, this AB and AC are also equal. So, this line of symmetry also becomes perpendicular to BC. So, it is possible to write uh, AM is perpendicular to BC because this the line joining uh, AD automatically becomes the perpendicular to BC because AB is equal to AC and this uh, AD this is the line of this is line of symmetry for the you know so this line of symmetry uh, divides this BC into two equal parts and uh, this uh, AM also becomes perpendicular to BC okay now area of triangle ABC will be half times uh, base base is BC times height is AM minus area of triangle BDC half times base is BC times height is DM okay this equals to from this both half times BC is comma and AM minus DM remains okay this BC has come out half also has come out so m minus dm becomes here and now it's equals to half times this bc is d2 okay times here a minus dm is from m if you subtract dm then we will get ad okay and this equals to half times uh, d2 times ad is d1 okay therefore Uh, therefore, area of arrow is given by given by half times d1 times d2. Okay, this is the formula for the area of arrow. Okay, so here uh, one uh, this is uh, d1. It is the line of symmetry, and another d2. Be the line joining B and B with C. In this way, uh, multiplying this D1 and then D2 and dividing by 2, we can get the area of arrow. Okay. Uh, I hope that uh, you found this uh, video helpful. So now I will also explain how to find area of kite. So uh, here, let A, B, C, D be the kite in which A, B equals to A, D and then B, C equals to D, C. So that means A, B, D is one isosceles triangle and B, C, D is another isosceles triangle. Okay. And here you can suppose one diagonal A, C to be a D1 and another diagonal B, D to be d2 okay let a b c d be a kite in which in which a c equals to d1 and b d equals to d2 okay and here also we can suppose let M be the point of intersection of section of diagonals AC and BD. Okay, so here this M is the uh, point of intersection of diagonal AC and BD. Okay, and as 
AC is the line of symmetry of the kite and AB equals to AD AM becomes perpendicular to BD so AM is perpendicular to BD because uh, the line which divides base into two equal parts in isolated angle is perpendicular to the base so this is 90 degree okay and if it is 90 degree and then another one this is also 90 degree uh, now in this way uh, here AM is perpendicular to BD that means AM is the height of triangle ABD similarly CM is also height of triangle BCD okay now uh, area of area of kite ABCD uh, equals to area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BCD okay so this whole area will be the sum of area ABD plus BCD okay then we will get the area of whole kite now area of triangle ABD equals to half times base times height that is base is BD uh, times height is M similarly area of triangle BCD is half times base is BD times height is MC and from both this half and half is common similarly BD is also common and what remains here is AM plus AMC remains okay because half BD has been taken out as common and half times this BD this BD is D2 times AM plus MC AM plus MC equals to AC okay and that equals to half times D2 times uh, AC length is D1 okay uh, hence uh, area of area of kite formula kite a b c d or any kite formula is half times uh, d1 times d2 okay this is the formula for the area of the kite so to get the area of the kite uh, simply we multiply to diagonals and divide by 2 that gives us the area of the uh, kite okay uh, in this way uh, we can uh, easily uh, find out the uh, area of the uh, kite okay that rhombus is also the special kind of kite in which adjacent sides or uh, each sides are equal okay so here if these two sides are equal then then these two sides are equal then this kite changes into rhombus and here one special property in kite is this diagonals bisect each other at a right angle okay that is the special uh, properties of kite uh, which we used while deriving the uh, formula for the area of the kite okay okay uh, i hope that you found this video helpful uh, thank you for watching and if you have not already subscribed my channel please uh, subscribe it by pressing the subscribe button just below my video so that I will be encouraged to make more videos and also press bell icon so that you will be informed about my coming videos. Thank you very much.